Nere's greatest challenge today in the world of globalization, see there are three developments which are unfortunate. One is increasingly scientific work is being protected by intellectual property rights. Nere was, the, as they commonly say, the Green Revolution was a public sector uh, enterprise, while the Gene Revolution is a private sector enterprise. So that how are we going to develop these new kinds of partnership between the public and private sector without compromising on ERI's commitment to help the poor farmers. Every, every CGR institute, including ERI, has now, as Dr. Ziegler said, has rearranged its mission, uh, not only production, but poverty reduction, the UN Millennium Development Goals. If the UN Millennium Development Goals is a big, big challenge for ERI because uh, 40% of the world's population, rice is a staple. So if the very first of the UN Millennium Development Goal, reducing hunger and reducing poverty, depends greatly on ERI's work, ERI's contribution, along with national partners. So it has a grave responsibility there, because number one in the... Uh, and then, of course, number three is gender equity. There again, ERI has been the flagship of the gender equity movement in the world the first scientific institution which started this strong gender mainstreaming of its work. Therefore, uh, ERI has number one, number three, and many others like diseases and so on. So I would say uh, number one challenge is this new vision for ERI, which places poverty alleviation and hunger elimination as uh, top on its agenda, as number one when Melendo so under a, under a system of, uh, so now second is the public-private partnership. Under an IPR environment, this problem came to the fore with the golden rice. Uh, how do you really develop public-private partnership under conditions of IPR and so on. And the third going to be very important is germplasm exchange with the Global Biodiversity Convention, which uh, considers biodiversity as national property. Uh, ERI and the national partners through the material transfer agreements, through method by which you feel that you have not taken away somebody's material given to somebody else. There's a lot of suspicion whether ERI gene bank will be exploited by the private sector for private profit. For public good is different, for private profit. Right. So uh, you have the challenge of public sector, public-private partnership. You have the challenge of a new vision which places UN Millennium Development Goal, number, number one, poverty eradication. And uh, uh, thirdly, uh, the problem of restricted germplasm exchange, restricted international trials. I mentioned earlier, the international trials help national governments to purchase time. Uh, what they would have done four years later was done because you had material. You saw the material, you built on it and so on. So there are, ERI is going to work under a more difficult environment. Difficult political environment and difficult uh, economic environment and uh, under those conditions, how are you going to, and then WTO, the World Trade Organization and uh, its own implications for, uh, uh, for free trade. Uh, all these are coming up now. Uh, so life becomes more interesting when some old challenges are solved and new challenges come. Otherwise, not interesting. If you are to see if you face all the time the old problem, then it's not interesting. You need new problems. So, as we have entered the 21st century, problem number one to ERI is UN Millennium Development Goal number one. Problem number two is to develop private, public-private partnerships, which do not compromise on the principle of social inclusion in access to technology. You cannot say the poor cannot have. Uh, good technology and so on. Problem uh, number three is to conserve its genetic heritage, the uh, World's Heritage Bank genetic heritage, and develop method by which you will not, will not be accused of having taken one country germplasm and uh, used it wrongly and so on. Problem number four, I would also say, uh, is to use the new technologies of communication. The world, whole world, digital world is different today. So ERI has to be a leader in terms of communication through the internet, through the various uh, possibilities, its databases. So you can have now much faster method of disseminating information around the world and you can leapfrog there. 
So there are challenges and I'm sure uh, Erie is aware of it, they're modifying their mandate and uh, one of the great things with Erie, as I said, the first decade had the challenge of improving productivity, the second decade had the challenge of uh, uh, putting it in the farming system background and uh, my decade had the challenge of introducing ecology and equity, I mean, it's such and that. So every ch now we have a challenge of public-private partnerships, of IPR, intellectual property environment, globalization, and so on. So new challenges come, but uh, an institute uh, should always be ready to change, uh, change course. And uh, unless you are, otherwise you will be passed by by others. You must change, uh, that change is necessary.